This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Here is an opportunity to be creative and have some fun with styles. Link the style sheet to the main page. Make the text paragraph a different color. Make the paragraph text different color. Oh, oh different size and color. Okay. First is the linkage, right? So we have it here. Here's our other file, our CSS styles. There's nothing in it right now. So I wouldn't even know if it is linked. So let's go ahead and throw some stuff in here. How do you create a new style sheet? We won't need that. A lot of time they have super helpful info up here, but let's go ahead and it says to change our paragraph size and color. So let's remember over in our HTML file, P is a paragraph tag. Now back over here in our CSS file to create a rule set or styles for it, I'm just gonna hit the letter P. I'm gonna hold shift and next to the letter P, I'm gonna hit that key. It's called a curly bracket or a curly brace and it automatically does a closing one, which is great. So I'm gonna hit enter now, and this is where I can add my style. So I know it wants me to change the color. Well, text color, we can just write the word color, and I don't know, I'll do red, and nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? Oh, Mr. Kaiser, hit refresh and save. Nope, nothing's happening. Because we have to tell the computer we have some style over here. So let's go to index.html, and if you're confused about this, right here, how do I add style to a web page, right? And this is why this stuff is useful. Well, as long as your style sheet's called style.css, and that's what ours is, this is the line how. And it goes in between the head and the head tag. So again, I'm on the index.html file. Now I'm going to click to the end of line three. That's where the head tag is at the end of line three, and I'm going to hit enter. So my line four is currently blank. And that's because in between the opening head tag and the closing, so my line five says slash head or less than sign, slash head greater than sign. My line four is where I gotta put this. And I'm gonna type it in. Link, L-I-N-K, space, R-E-L, which is for the relationship, what is it? And I'm gonna put in quotes, style sheet, and then space, Hypertech reference, which is just the letter H R E F equals quotes and then style.css. And I'm going to make sure to end those quotes and do a greater than sign. And if you're stuck, how do I add style sheet to a web page? It's right here. That is how. Now mine is showing up immediately. You might have to hit refresh and save. Mr. I have all this and it's not doing a thing. Well, make sure in your style sheet you actually added something for it to do. See how I have color red for my paragraph tag. Now, let's also make sure, let's see, we need a paragraph text and size. So I'm going to go ahead now and do font size. And I don't know, 16 PX. PX is for pixel. Did that do anything? I can't tell. I'm too old for this. 26. Oh, that's definitely different. And who knows? It asked us to do that. Maybe you want to go crazy and do, I don't know. There's all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, I might do a background color and background just works. You can also write the word color. Either way is correct, 100% correct. And maybe you're an overachiever or you're having fun like I am and you want to do the H tag too. So I'm going to go do an H1. It's a, uh, I don't know, uh, color orange and, oh, I did H2. Whoopsies background. Now I'm not going to write color because it will work either way. Pink. Boom. Whatever. Awesome. Refresh and save. We did it. Onward. Just make sure you link them with that.